let's talk about one key feature that Camtasia Rev, that is the option to kind of improve your workflow in Camtasia needs to make it or get it to a higher level than it is right now. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, Camtasia Rev is available when you want to make a new screen recording. And in Camtasia 2024, it has been introduced where you can import to Camtasia Rev. And I'll click on this. And you can import videos or Camtasia recordings or even project files that you've worked on before. Now, I'm actually going to go for a T-Rec file. And the reason why I'm going for a T-Rec file is so that uh, my webcam and video are two separate entities. Uh, if you actually go with a video and it has uh, maybe uh, different options for the webcam and so on and so forth, those are not going to be factored. But you can always see all the media files that are supported here uh, and so on and so forth. But let's go with this one. And I'll click on open. And once I do that, uh, we're going to get into this particular interface uh, that is really, really simple to navigate, uh, but changes depending on what type of media that you're working with. Now, because I'm working with uh, more or less a screen recording, it has the webcam as a different source uh, or track and my videos are different source. Now, you'll get the size. Uh, you can go for the recording size, the wide, the vertical or the square. Now, the one feature that is missing is, let's say somewhere here. I know uh, the interface is going to be a little bit crowded probably, but they should have like a drop down for different presets or saved styles that you have set up. This is a really important feature to improve workflow such that if I select that and just select it, it applies the size, the layout, the background, the effects, the filters. So uh, let's assume you're using uh, uh, come to your area for the first time you're going to set the size that you want let's go for the layout actually I like this layout uh, you can see how everything looks like the background uh, you can choose whatever background that works well for you or for the tutorial video you're creating and there are a ton of these particular backgrounds and hopefully we can have have the option to import our own background that would be awesome we've got some uh, some effects here uh, drop shadow, corner rounding, border, and so on and so forth. Now, what I've noticed uh, it's doing is that it's remembering the most recent setup or settings I used here. But this is not the most ideal, especially if you're working for different clients or you want different looks and feels for different videos. Uh, so I don't think this is really going to work well. But having an option to kind of change the style to saved style or preset that would be really, really awesome. Uh, uh, let me just uncheck this. If you click on it, uh, the effect or the filter goes away. Uh, so once you set up everything the way you want it to be, you should be able to kind of like save preset or something of that sort. Maybe somewhere here. Save style or save preset, save Camtasia Rev preset or style or whatever. That is one key feature I wish was available so that in any future uh, creations or edits that you're making, all you need to do is just uh, click on import to come to your rev and just click on the style that you want or let's say editing Camtasia or let's say, what can I say? Let's say I'm in the media section here and just right click on it because you have the option to import to Camtasia Rev from here, then you can always have your styles really ready for you to work on. So, for example, if I actually delete this with all uh, the settings I've done, uh, if I actually just right click on this import to Camtasia Rev, then what should happen is I should have my styles or presets or whatever you want to call them available for use on the go. That would be really handy and it would really improve workflows when it comes to editing tutorials inside Camtasia. Now, those are my thoughts. And it's one key feature I feel can really improve Camtasia Rev and editing workflows. I hope this video is of value to you and hopefully somebody from TechSmith is watching. That's it for this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.